Creation and simulation of an OPA 569 laser driver circuit using Tina Cloud. Here is the original circuit we want to recreate for demonstrating the use of Tina Cloud's schematic editor. Let's see how to create such a circuit using the SPICE model of the OPA 569 operational amplifier. Log in to Tina Cloud. Create the circuit like the one on this sample schematic. First, save the file using the Save As command. Note that the program automatically saves the changes into this file while we are editing. Click the SPICE Macros tab at the Component toolbar. The toolbar of the SPICE Macro components will appear. Next, click the Operational Amplifiers icon. The list of the available operational amplifiers from different manufacturers will appear. Select Texas Instruments. You can now select the op amp OPA 569 from the list or enter the part number into the top left search field of the dialog. Enter OPA 56, then click the OPA 569 and press OK. The selected IC will appear attached to your cursor and you can move it anywhere by moving the mouse. Place it by pressing the left mouse button. Click the resistor icon on the basic component toolbar to place the resistors R1, R2, R3. The R2 and R3 should be rotated by 90 degrees. Place them, then rotate them by clicking first the selected item, then the rotate left or rotate right symbol. Next, add the capacitors C1, C2, C3. Click the capacitor icon on the component toolbar. Position the symbol using the mouse, then left click to place it. The capacitor C3 should be also rotated by 90 degrees. Next, select the voltage generator. We need to add two diodes to our circuit, so select two diodes from the semiconductors toolbar. The diodes should be also rotated by 90 degrees. Add the battery from the basic toolbar. Then select the current arrow from the meters toolbar. Add the grounds from the basic toolbar. Some of the grounds should be also rotated. You can rotate parts even before you place them by clicking the Rotate Left or Rotate Right icons. Position and rotate a few component labels by clicking the label first, then holding down the left mouse button. After you place it, just click an empty spot on the workspace. Now you can wire up the circuit. Note that Tina Cloud has an advanced wiring tool that automatically inserts the components into the wire. So far, the components were inserted using their default values. Double click the component and enter the required component value, then press OK. Double click the resistor R1. Enter the required component value and press OK. Repeat this procedure for all components where needed. Next, double click the voltage generator and rename its label to VIN. Next, set the DC level to 2 and change its signal from unit step to square wave. It's also advised to change the frequency and the rise-fall time parameters. Click the three dots, Details button, at the end of the signal field. Enter the value 10K in the frequency field and change the rise-fall time to 10N, then click OK. Now double-click the diode 1. 
Next, click the three dots at the end of the type field. The list of the available diode types appears. Select 1N4001 diode from the list, then press the OK button. Repeat this procedure for the diode 2 as well. Note that the voltage supply is negative, so change V1 from plus to minus. Rename the current arrows label to I out 1. We would like I out the current arrow to appear first in the diagram window, so add 1 in the component label after the name I out. Now the circuit is ready for analysis. Let's first make a transient analysis. Select transient from the analysis menu. In the analysis display window, Set the end display time to 200 microseconds, then press the Run button. The transient time response appears in the diagram window of Tina Cloud. OK, now let's add the diagram to the schematic editor window to store it together with the circuit schematic. Close the diagram window. And note that it remains available in the program. Select Insert Diagram from the Insert menu with a green plus sign. In the Insert Diagram window will appear where you can change the size of the diagram to be added to the schematic editor. This time just accept the default settings and press the Insert button. The diagram will appear attached to your cursor. Position it and then you can add it to the circuit schematic by pressing the left button of the mouse. Use the Zoom Out command to make more place. Pan the circuit by holding down the left mouse button while moving the mouse. Drag the diagram to the required position by holding down the left mouse button and moving the mouse. Press the multiple selection icon. Using the mouse, now you can select components. Use window selection. Drag the circuit by clicking a component and holding down the left mouse button. The circuit will be attached to your cursor. Position it by moving the mouse and holding down the left mouse button. Click an empty spot on a workspace to deselect the components. Add the title by using the Insert Text T icon. Edit text properties by clicking the Properties button. Press the OK button. The title text will appear attached to your cursor. Move it to the middle at the top of the screen and place it by clicking the left mouse button. Test the circuit by running analysis. AC analysis. AC transfer characteristic. Change the end frequency parameter to 10M. You can also run analysis. DC analysis. DC transfer characteristic. Make sure the parameter values are the same, like in the Analysis Editor window above. This concludes our demonstration of using Tina Cloud for analysis of a laser driver circuit. For more information, visit our website at tinacloud.com. Visit our YouTube channel at youtube.com user slash tinadesignsuite.